How's everybody feeling? That's good. I'm not doing too good. I'm single. Yeah, it's not going so well. I tried the dating thing. Went on a blind date the other day, and uh, I kind of wish I was blind. Uh, <laughs> she was ugly, man. She looked like Chewbacca from Star Wars. I couldn't even be a gentleman. I tried to be a nice guy, make a good first impression. You know what I mean? Open the door for her. I said, hey, girl, how you doing? <laughs> She gonna get all upset and start crying. <laughs> Crazy man. The sex was good though. Um, don't judge me. Times are hard, man. <laughs> Gotta try something new. Try something new. Try something like dating a black girl. Ugh. Oh, somebody said, oh. But I. Try <laughs> My ex was black, I couldn't, I couldn't take it. See, not all black girls are bad, just my ex, she was, she was ghetto, like, like, she would do this thing where she would talk like this, like, and I would never really know what's going on. Like, the other day, we got into an argument. She was like, who was you, where was you at? Where was you at and who was you with? <laughs> I, was, I was at the mall with my boys. She, she said, you wasn't at the mall with no boys. <laughs> you was at home with that Chewbacca bitch. <laughs> oh, you wasn't? Oh, you wasn't? So how come all I heard was ram, 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 And then she gets mad, and then she starts, like, 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 when black girls talk, like, they argue, they kind of grab words, and that's what she started doing to me. She was like, oh, so you gonna lie to me? Okay, so you just gonna lie to me. Okay, I'm gonna tell you something about yourself. I'm gonna tell you something about yourself. I'm gonna take this word, I'm gonna take this word, put it together, so that's what you are. I can't win, man. I can't win. Racism still exists. You know, some people try to act like it doesn't. It still exists, but I will give a lot of white people credit. A lot of white people are not racist. A lot of white people don't like the N-word. I got a friend, he's the only white person that works at the job I work at. And he confides in me because everybody else is black. So he came up to me the other day, he was like, he was like oh, Monty, huh. Tyrone comes in late every day. <laughs> comes in 30 minutes late, he leaves 30 minutes early, he takes 45 minute breaks, we only get 15 minute breaks, it's starting to piss me off, sometimes I wanna choke him. I say, hey man, if I were you, I'll punch that N-word in his face. He said, yeah, I, I didn't say all that, no. You're trying to set me up. The last thing I need is a bunch of black guys chasing me down the street. What do you think this is, Temple Run? <laughs> Some of you may not know what Temple Run is, let me explain Temple Run. Temple Run is a game application for smartphones, pretty much iPhones and droids. And all it is, literally, all the game is, is a white man collecting money while running away from a bunch of black guys. <laughs> all right, all right, I'm lying, not black guys, monkeys, but you see what the hell I'm saying? <laughs> and there's a, you know, I, there's a black character, there's a black character, but you have to unlock him, AKA, ban him out of jail. <laughs> He costs the most to unlock, 50,000 tokens. You know how long you gotta play that game to get 50,000 tokens? All damn day. And there's other characters. There's another white girl. Hey. Another white guy, hey, how are you? His icon's completely different. I can tell he's in jail. Keep playing the game, man. It's terrible, man. It's terrible. Old people annoy me. Only because I never know what they chewing on. You ever see an old person? <laughs> like my grandfather's like that, but he's like that because he has Alzheimer's, so he forgot how to curse. So he used to be sending that thing to me. Hey, get your hands off of me. Get off of me, Monty. I can do it myself, you mother. <laughs> it's bad, man. He's old. He got Alzheimer's. He can't go out anywhere. So he just spends his day commenting and complaining about normal daily activities. The other day he was standing at the end of the driveway. Hey, hey, Monty, look at this. Look, look at this one right here. Make this a damn shame. Who the hell does he think he is mowing the damn lawn? 
busy mother. Mm, 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 mm. Grandpa, get your ass out the middle of the street. You're going to get <laughs> <sighs> Graduated from college, four years. Don't clap, because that means you support bankruptcy. It's terrible, man. <laughs> terrible, man. Best part about college was having sex. Had a lot of sex. Nobody told me it was going to cost $80,000. $80,000 for some good good. You could take that good good back. You ever walk to the store, you see $80,000 for some good good? I, can I put that on layaway? No, yes, no. I don't want that kind of good good. It's messed up, man. And what sucks is, see, some of my friends, a lot of my friends, stopped after high school. Got the GED, stopped. Didn't go to school, no college, nothing. They just got jobs at McDonald's. And everybody knows that when you're somebody who's friends with somebody who works at McDonald's, you make fun of them. Like, I make fun of them. Hey, man, you working at McDonald's? Look at you flipping the merch. Yeah, 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 you right. So you're going to get yours. You're going to get yours. And I'm laughing because I'm going to college. Four years later, their manager's at McDonald's, and I'm trying to get a job application. You see how this works out? It's messed up, man. So I'm stressed. Smoked weed once. Didn't go so well. Any weed smokers in here? Probably not. Probably so. Doesn't really matter, though, because look, I'm going to explain what my experience was. Smoking weed. I only smoked one time, and one time was good enough for me because it made me realize that it's not for me. Like when you grow up, what do your parents tell you? Eat your vegetables, and you'll be so strong, you can lift up a car. So my mom told me. What she didn't tell me is, if I smoke weed for the first time, the car will lift up itself. That's <laughs> it's crazy, man. So I just hang out with people that smoke weed now. I like to crack jokes. You know why? Because when you smoke weed, you become intellectual. You become insightful. You start noticing things that people don't know, notice on a normal day basis. Like I got a friend that smokes weed and I like hanging out with him because he says some really insightful stuff. Like the other day we had a conversation and it went just like this, no lie, we were just chilling. <sighs> Yo Monty, you know what's crazy? The sky be changing colors and shit, right? <laughs> like first it be gray, then it be blue. Sometimes it even be orange. I'm like, yeah, man, what's your point? <laughs> it's really confusing. <laughs> Yo, Vati, I was thinking about something the other day. My mother told me that it rains because God is crying. I'm like, actually, that's, that's kind of metaphorical, man. That's deep. He's like, no. Actually, it's kind of discouraging to think that the man I pray to be acting like a bitch sometimes. <laughs> wait, wait, oh, okay, okay, wait, Monty, I was thinking about this. Listen, 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 just listen. You know how they say that homosexuals come out of the closet? I'm like, yeah, where you going with this? Well, do you think that homosexual midgets come out of the cabinet. 